Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create a Windows 10 USB install drive which you can then use to install Windows 10 on a brand new empty hard drive or SSD. So for example if you bought a brand new drive you put it in your computer but it does not yet have an operating system, it does not yet have Windows, this will walk you through how to get that USB drive prepared so you can then install Windows onto that drive. Now to start things off, of course, you will need a USB flash drive. I will post a link down below in the notes in the video description to this page on Amazon where you can get one for $6. This one's actually a 16 gig flash drive. It's recommended at least eight gigs or higher, so you don't necessarily need one this large, but this is only six bucks, so you might as well get double the, double the uh, size. However, you can also get any available flash drive off of Amazon or other locations as long as it is at least 8 gigabytes or larger. Also down below in the notes down in the video description will be a link to this page which is very important. Once you have the USB flash drive you will need to plug it into an operating computer and then come to this page which you will then go ahead and click on the download tool button. And then once the download has completed, you'll want to go ahead and open it up. And then once you get to this menu, go ahead and click Accept. And then when you get to this menu, you want to select the bottom option that says Create Installation Media, and then click on Next. And then generally speaking, you should be able to use the default settings here. However, if you need to change them, you uncheck this box, and it will allow you to make a change. But for most of you, you should just be able to stick with the default settings, and then click on Next. And then also just make sure USB flash drive is selected and click on next. And then here you need to select the actual flash drive you plugged into the computer. For me it's the G drive and so just make sure whichever one you're using you have selected and then click on next. Now right now it's downloading Windows 10 onto the flash drive and this can take a while. It's going to vary from computer to computer depending on how fast your computer is as well as your internet connection. And so just let it sit until it is fully completed. Now once you see this menu, you know that it has completed, and you can go ahead and click on Finish. And then you can go ahead and take the USB flash drive out of the computer that you're currently using, and go ahead and plug it into the computer where you need to install Windows 10. Now of course at this point, you are completely finished at creating a Windows 10 installation USB flash drive. However, as far as installing Windows 10 onto that empty drive, I am going to refer you to this YouTube video because this guy does a very good job and in order to film it you need an external camera because you can't film on a computer that does not yet have an operating system. And so I will post a link down below in the notes in the video description to this video. Again, this is a tutorial that picks up right where I have left off. You've already created the installation tool on your USB flash drive. Now is the part where you plug it into the computer and actually go through the installation process and this guy will walk you through that process. Also please note, if you need a Windows 10 key, going to Microsoft and buying one just for Windows 10 Home can cost about $140. Don't go here. Go to, again, to the notes below down in the video description and I will post a link here to Kingwin where you can get a Windows 10 key for about $27, under 30 bucks. Now you may be asking yourself why are they so cheap? These are 100% legitimate Windows 10 keys. The reason why they're cheaper is because they're OEM keys, which means they can only be used once and they are married to that motherboard. And so that is why these are so much cheaper. Also, you may want to also note that in some situations when you call Windows 10 for tech support, if they then discover you have an OEM key, they may or may not assist you in whatever technical difficulties you may be having. So that's an also, another thing you also need to keep in mind. I will also post a link down below in the notes to where you can get Windows 10 professional keys as well from Kingwin, but I think these are much better options than buying a $140 plus key from Microsoft. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below in the notes. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.